He came from a very rich family. Those days in Europe they call noble family. But Lawrence was seeking spiritual life. Ani ba Lawrence sara yagi sik ni gata changi thangani gamansa wara sandinga cham. And so he enter into a monastery where uh, so many young people are trained in theology. Aro ande ke wa biap tam saunar yang ha jeon banga manderang nge di isolo biani ko takinga cham. He was their chief cook. Aro wara wamangi skotong gapa sung gapa unga cham sung cham gapa. He was cooking for all these seventy students. Ya saksotni chatro chatriang na wara sung cham nge cham. And then he realized that God can be present in the kitchen. And the gewa ya ko wia ha isolara bubbles yo mangba dong pak bonga. In other words. He can enjoy God's presence not in only in the classroom of theology but in the kitchen of that theological college. When the we are in solar theological college ni class class to san dong ai ja and the bubble si mang ba dong a. So he say like this. I don't the gewa agana ha. When I wash the pots. Ah jen sala me the kona tenga. And hear the noise of the spoon the plates and the pots arone ge plate rangi chamos rangi gamma ho khnainga i feel as if i am worshiping the lord with those sounds anga andeken ka anga ya plak kamani rang baksa anga isol ko ola khinga and i knew god was present with me aro anga ya ko uya isol ang baksa donga he say my kitchen used to be like a place where I take Holy Communion. Aron de kewa kana ang ni babesiora anga jion geteli mia tamkobara na ketaman na. When we take Holy Communion, we approach, you know, as as so as solemn as possible. Aro anjing jen salo geteli mia tamkora ano de anjing namin spek spek kongesa rong tal beira na jutong ka. And so Brother Lawrence say that my kitchen. Often turn up out to be like as if I am having holy communion in the presence of God. Aron de ke jung ada Lawrence de ke aga na ha ang ni babesio de ya isoli dong panyan de ke wa anga wano geteli niya tam ko mang ba ra ana ko taman gen. In Israel, the archaeologists when they were digging some homes, they found one kitchen. Israel lo jen salo ndeke choga parang a choga parang choa ha wamang ndeke biap tam sako ndeke ha. In that kitchen, on the wall of that kitchen, it is written worship service conducted three times a day. Wano babesi dunga cem wa babesi ora ndeke sia dunga cem yano olak yani ko salo changgetam dakronga. That means that family eats three times a day. Unyo tode. But for the owner or for the housewife of that little home, she took that as a place of worship. She took that job as a service to God. Aru wa kam ko wara isoni kam takisada. You are not just feeding your husband. Naa nangi segepa na aju aja. You are not just feeding your children. Naa nangi bisa na aju asan aja. You are feeding God's children. Naa isoni dedrang nasa aju enga. With that concept, she said, worship service conducted three times in this place. Oni gaman yen dak kapat sanchani baksa wano andeke siya gana. When you cook for pastor, you feel that you are cooking for a special person. Yes, pastor has that spiritual responsibility. But every day as you cook, from God's point of view, your husband 
you're the your pastor your children are no different and they ba na na is salam ti song ai nyo pamuna bong cha mai na gap na na nok ni man da na ba song cha mai na gmak kan i sol na de ding thang ani dong cha so we need to transform our kitchen into a worship place oni man an sing ni babal sirang ko an sing ara o lakiram bia takat na man gen in 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 that you you know you look at that job as a way of serving god oni man wa kham ko na i sol na dang de ke o na ni da ke ra na man gen that's why there is one lady called catland aro me chak sak sa ganang chem je kon catland ne mung ma chem she say in a book in one of her book she say that worship and laundry you know washing clothes worship and laundry are the same arwan de ke uni ki thapo se ha olakhyani barashwani ara apsam nga and all this whether you worship or do the cleaning all this take it as a part of your christian worship arnang ni olakhyani barashwani ya gumak ka nang ni the christian jangin thangani bak nga jesus fed the 5000 with the same bread of the little boy's lunch jishu mande sakha jal bungana pitta dot bungana tok mangani mana tok mangani ko shwale ka chatan wa me a bi sawni ko sala ai ka chatta ha it was not the the bread very special but it was the same bread ordinary bread that he used one ding thang man sak ba pitta ung ja ni bara mram ga ba pitta san ung ai chem when jesus Uh, celebrate the past uh, the 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 lord supper uh, Jen, with his disciples if not the past over with his disciple then salo jishu and thani sneng param baksa wa thani ala ko thainga chen he used the same bread that they were eating ordinary bread ya apsan pita kon wamang ya mande sakha jal bona on ge pakon apsan kon thainga chen moses encountered god in the ordinary place the place where he worked for uh, six, 40 years Mosena isol ram ram gapa biapo mkhang pha ha The only the only thing is the way we look at the work is important Mang sa mang 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 thang ani dan sing mai khai ukonia ta wa sa ngaya And God can transform that into something that is beautiful Aro isola ra uko mai aba ding thang man sa gapa dak na mana The world would have been very bad place if they were no christian agal sakara namen namja bebong gensem christian rang dongja gensem ode because there will not be a bible mai na uno sastro dongja chen because there will not be a uh, songs to worship god aro iso ko lakina git rang ba dongja chen and and there will not be you know uh, people looking after the orphanage um, supporting them praying for them Aro magri pagri bi sarang ko ni rok pa mandang ba dong jachen wa mana dak chak pa dang wa mana bi ge parang ba dong jachen We will not have Christian mission schools And then Christian mission school rang ba dong jachen We will not have Christian hospitals And then Christian hospital rang ba dong jachen We will not have even our script in the bible um in our own language And then ku sep ko sastro mang ba dong jachen Because missionaries help us to translate the bible into our own languages my na missionary ang sa ya sastro kan ni ku sekona pena da da chaka ha education would not be as good as today skia poraya dong skia poraya ni da alo kata nam jawa chem even the government system would not be as good as today so khari ni plak da kar ka ni ba da au kata nam jawa chem that's why they say like um, in in united states uh, they say that the political you know the government system they take it they take it from the greek unigaman sa us so they and the so karini dakar kaniko wa mangara greek koni kon ke raha the administration system they take it from the romans wa mang ni dakar kaniko wa mang rom ni mandirang ni oni ko raha raka ta ha moral and social ethics they take it from the christians and the jews jangi thangani cholon bewal rangko wamang jihudi rangani ko ya christian rangani ko ya sastro ni ko wamang raha this make united states of america yan united states of america wa and today 
we want to see that our Christian influence uh, continue to flourish. Aro ndake da alo ansang ya Christian nang ni sururwe mana ndake gepenang ko salna mana ni konak nak tanang ia. That we will be faithful. Jesus said, "He who is faithful in little things will be uh, will be rewarded a much bigger, much more." Aro ndake ansang kaket ong gepenang anang a may na Jesus ndake agana na atun na o kaket ong gen semo de na dalla o kaket ong nak taman gen. I want to close with two, two, I, you know, two things. There was a, um, a taxi driver in uh, New York. New York, oh, taxi salgapa dong atem. And uh, an African pastor happened to travel in his taxi. Ara Afrika ni pamong uni tekstio salsa o songre na songre ha. And so this African pastor said, "Hello, taxi driver. Uh, so this is your job." Aro no Afrika ni pamong and the taxi salba ho kana ha. Oh, taxi salga pa yan ani kama ani singa ha. Do you like your job? Na na ani kam ko nam nakama ani was singa ha. You know the taxi driver say that I am not just a taxi driver. Anon taxi ko salgapa and the kagana hanga taxi salgapa san unja. I am driving that this taxi for God's kingdom. Anga ya taxi ko isol ni songok nasa salenga. I am a kingdom driver. That's what he said. Anga de songok ni songok ni gari ko salgapa sa. Then they talk. They started talking. Anong dekay wama agan dekna abat singa ha. Why you are different then? Nakoye ungentsmen aram may kedeng tanga. He say I am driving this taxi for God's glory. Anga ya taxi ko isoni sarasong nasa salenga. It is not just to feed my family. Yen ang ni nok nok tang ko aljun nasa nongja. Yes, feeding my family is my primary duty. Oya ang ang ni nok tang ko chalay ni yen ang ni kang patak na nang ganyo nga. But I am driving this taxi for God's glory. Ni ba yah taxi ko ang ni salenga ni ara isoni rasong nasa nga. And he said, with the income that I have, we are supporting about 69 children in Africa. Aro and the kewa kan ha ang ni banggiza manani chi ang a sak sotok school Africa ni bisarang na dakcakan ikon nga. He also said last year I visited Africa and I took football, volleyball, and different kinds of you know equipments for play. And they, these young people, these children, enjoy that. Aro di ang babesyo nga Afrika na di ang ha aro di kaya bang kalani rangko, robol rangko, volleyball rangko, dan tang dan tang kalani rangko ang ang ha aro di isang namen unak kusyong beha. He said, you may see other taxi driver. Na wala di kaya ha na agpan taxi salgapan rangko ni bo. Maybe they are driving only for their own family. Ma, hay daw wamang di ang tang tani nok na mamang san. But I am I am driving for mission. Ani ba ang ganon mission na sa salenga? That is the concept that we want. Yan dakto pa san siya ni kwan siya ni kwan ang nga. God purchase you with His own blood. Isol ang pangni ang chichi ang ang ko brea. And you your price is the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Nang ni damde pero you Christ ni kam chat ka pa ang chi nga. As you go back, what good will you do to your family? Naari ang plan na ang inuktang na may namakam ko na kaigen. What good will you do to your village? Nangisong na na may namakam ko kaigen. What good will you do to your church? Nangimondoli na na may namakam ko kaigen. Our village should be a model village because we all are Christians. Antni songara tak meso ka pa song na nangya may na antni songara Christian songa. That concept. Is necessary because we are created to do good. Yen dakpa chan chan ko antsmo ni ko nanginga may nan sing ko ra nama kam ko ka china sa ngata ha. We are also created to bless others. Aran sing ko ngata niya ra kapan na na patya ni ko unasa ngata ha. To bless first of all my family. Kang kapan ni lo kang na patya ni ko na. To bless my neighbors. Ang ni song sulang na patya ni ko na song sulang na. And to be a good village village. Person in the whole village. Aro and the ke nam gapa sungo dong gapa sung dong pag bong na. So let's let's take back that 
Jesus went around doing good. I am, I am also expected to go around to do good. Let us continue to do good works for God's glory. I'm going to ask the worship team if they can come uh, for our last song. Um, if we can sing that um, uh, 10,000 uh, you know, reasons. Uh, some of us may know, some of us may not know. After that, we will have mass prayer. Ring mat tell ka bad ko nga ko mat na kita nang nakinga ten thousand reasons bless the Lord oh my soul yagit ko ring ani o dalchina ni tama tama sing absan isolo bi e mat surat ken.